Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm sharing a process video of a card that I created for episode 103 of Craft Roulette. Now if you're not familiar with Craft Roulette, it's a paper craft challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. The show is live every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube.com on the Craft Roulette channel. I was a special guest crafter a few weeks ago and I've really enjoyed creating cards the past few weeks based on the parameters that have been spun. It's truly a challenge and y'all know me, I love a challenge. I will put a link in the description box below to episode 103 and if you'd like to play along you have 48 hours from the end of the show to get your card submitted online. The parameters for episode 103 are mini card topper, calm colors, board game, and hole punch. So after thinking about these parameters for quite some time, I had the idea of using the board game Apples to Apples, but then I also remembered the game Cootie, where you build bugs out of pieces of bugs. So I'm going to pull in both elements using these dies here from TLC Designs. This one is called Apple a Day, and I'm going to be using several pieces from that, and then this other one is from the Happy Dragonfly die set and I'm just going to use the body part of the dragonfly to create a worm coming out of the apple. And then for my calm colors I'm going to use these watercolor naturals papers here that are also by TLC Designs and I'm using the light green and blue with shades of purple in it. I figured I'd use this light green watercolor paper to cut out the apple now I used both dies because at this point I thought I was going to use the outline of the green paper too. And I also used the green paper to cut out the leaf. And then I'm using the other paper, the blue and the purple paper, to cut out the worm using the body of the dragonfly die. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. So now that I have that all cut out, I figured I would make the apple be the part of the card. So that's going to be what sits on top of another card base. So I took some heavyweight cardstock and I scored it down the middle to make an A2 size card base. So I scored it at four and a quarter. And then I placed the apple die on top so that this could be a shaped card. And then I ran this through my die cutting machine. So the piece on the side here doesn't cut, so it makes an apple shaped card. And that's going to cover the first parameter. I went ahead and cut out two more of the leaves and the worms so that I could layer those up. And I used some heavyweight cardstock so that it would be strong. And then I use the H and the I dies that say hi to cut out the letters from the purple and blue paper. And so now I am taking some Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide ink and one of my ink blending brushes. And I'm coloring the stem of the apple. And I got quite a bit of ink on there, so I um, have to clean this up. And then I'm taking the color Shabby Shutters and I'm inking up the edges of the apple. added some ink to the leaf also just to make that a little bit darker than the apple itself and then I glued all of the layers together and then I colored the white edges of the worm and the letters with the Copic marker B24 Now I wanted to pop the apple piece up a little bit so I took a piece of fun foam and I used the inner apple die and I ran it through my die cutting machine and because I didn't want the foam to show at all I trimmed it to be smaller than the holes around the edge. So before I glue it down I'm just trying to figure out the placement here of everything and I know that I need to cut a hole using a hole punch so that that will satisfy that parameter. So um I'm going to cut a hole so that the worm will stick out of it. And I marked where I wanted it to be with a pen. And at first I thought I was going to make the hole with 
a half inch circle punch but I realized that I couldn't get the punch to where I marked it where I needed it to be so I used my crocodile and I made a smaller hole and then I glued the foam piece to the back of the apple making sure to keep glue away from the wormhole so that I can stick the lower part of his body down in there and then I used the hole punch again so that it would cut through the fun foam and then I glued that down So I stuck the end of the worm in the hole and glued him down. And then I glued down the rest of the die cuts, my sentiment that says hi. And I have this container of a bunch of different sizes of googly eyes. So I took out two of the smallest ones and I glued those on the worm's head. And then I realized that I didn't color the edges of my leaf, so I tried to do that even though I couldn't get to all the edges and I used my green Copic marker. And then I traced the wormhole, the edges of the wormhole with the marker also. And then I added a smiling mouth using a black marker. And then I took some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew and I added it to the holes in the worm. And then I completely coated the letters. I wanted it to be shiny so the Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew color this dries clear so it will show the color underneath and make it shiny once it dries. And then lastly I took the leftover piece of blue and purple watercolor paper and I trimmed it down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I glued it down to a piece of white heavyweight cardstock that was cut to four and a quarter by five and a half and then I attached the apple on top. After looking at the card, I thought something was missing, so off camera, I decided to cut out a white flower using the same apple a day die set, and I added that next to the leaf. And this finishes off my card. I kept it pretty simple, but it covers all of the parameters that were spun on the wheel. If you'd like to play along, you can create a card and upload it to the craftroulette.live website, and I'll have that linked in the description box below. If you submit a card, you'll have a chance to win a prize on next week's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this process video. If so, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.